Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. You guys know what time it is. We're going to be talking about XRP. As we do start off Saturday, we are seeing the price of XRP approaching 63 cents. So what's really happening? We're going to discuss that. We're going to speak about Target. So if you like these updates, smash that like button. So uh, starting off, uh, taking a look at the overall market, you guys can see XRP is actually one of the very few coins that's actually up right now in the green over the past a few hours. As we can see, you know, majority of the market is still seeing that retracement as we have discussed last night. Uh, but, you know, if you're looking at uh, XRP, it's up 6.5%, guys. That's a big move, uh, to be quite frank with you, for XRP. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to be wondering what exactly is triggering this number one um, in terms of move. Um, if you're looking at the last one week, we're seeing double digit gains across the board. Uh, but, you know, still seeing um, XRP, uh, seeing that lag. And, you know, in my opinion, as I've shared so many times before, uh, I think it's due to investors still being uncertain uh, about the lawsuit that's still going on and, you know, a potential appeal could happen, which kind of leaves uh, investors on the sideline rather than, you know, being more confident. Uh, but uh, if you're looking today, you know, XRP is up about 6.5%, which is, of course, really nice to see. Uh, price is currently sitting at 62.53%, up 6.6% in Bitcoin comparative as well. Market valuation is at $35.3 billion and the 24-hour trading volume is at about $2.6 billion. Absolutely amazing stuff here. But what exactly could be triggering this? Before we get into it though, as always, just a quick disclaimer, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So uh, as we know, RLUSD testing is going on a lot of minting happening on ethereum blockchain as well as the xrpl ledger uh, you could see this for yourself on the xrpl um you know we have seen just today you could see um September 28th, we are seeing a lot of RLUSD being minted. And this is amazing, you know, getting a lot of people excited. Um, RLUSD, I think, could launch before, you know, the Ripple event takes place. And, you know, at the Ripple event, there are obviously going to be some massive speakers. Um, and, you know, things are just starting to add up. And, of course, in the month of October, which we're literally coming up upon, um, we do have the BRICS meeting as well, where they announced their stable coin. And, again, obviously, you know... Is this a coincidence? Why is, uh, are these dates so uh, similar to one another? Again, you know, no one really knows. And I apologize if you hear anything in the background because, of course, you know, I have construction going on. Um, so, you know, apologies on that. But anyhow, if you're looking at this, you know, I think this could be that triggering uh, factor, you know, for, you know, this green that we're seeing across the board. And uh, like I said, you know, leading up to October, we have a lot going on, as you can see. Um, you know, shout out to uh, Smoke. Um, you know, Smoke is doing absolutely amazing work in the Ripple community. It says, look who's the second featured speaker listed behind only Brad Gerlinghouse on Ripple's website for this year's Ripple Swell uh, 2024 in October. And again, this is, you know, the exciting, uh, you know, place where I think there are going to be a lot of announcements regarding their stable coin, maybe a potential launch around that, and maybe a new partnerships that will be announced. And you can see um, who is going to be speaking. Um, Adriana here who is a superintendent at the New York State Department of Financial Services. So, you know, in terms of regulatory, uh, you know, approval that Ripple is trying to get, and they've been clear on that, you could really see um, that, you know, things are starting to add up for us. And, um, you know, shout out to Smoke for posting this. So why RLUSD will be covered by U.S. regulations, but Tether will be not? And again, we had a little bit of a discussion revolving around this just yesterday, but we're going to go over this. The New York Department of Financial Services is widely recognized as a robust regulator, both domestically and internationally. The NYDSF um, uh, has already provided limited regulatory clarity for stablecoin issuers at the state level. To operate within New York, stablecoin issuers must obtain approval from the NYDFS before making their U.S.-backed stablecoin available. They must also adhere to the strict requirements regarding soundness and reserves. Of course, you know, that is the question that needs to arise when you are dealing with stablecoins. Are the reserves even there? As you say, they are. Like, is the dollar backing actually there? So, 
um, in the stablecoin uh, valuation by S&P Global Tether is explicitly cited as a stablecoin issuer that is not compliant with the NYDFS regulations. Hence, you are seeing so many exchanges starting to delist Tether because, of course, you know, the regulatory uh, side of things, you know, compliance side of things are just not there. And hence, you know, these uh, exchanges such as OKX have delisted Tether. So and again, you know, delisting Tether is a huge thing because, of course, there's so many pairs on Tether, but it's RLUSD really going to come and replace, um, you know, uh, none other than our good old friend, um, you know, Tether, possibly, you know, obviously that's a long shot, but, um, you know, with the way things are moving, you can't, um, you know, say that that's not possible. So Ripple Monica Long, however, stated that there will, uh, I'm sorry, there are keeping the NYDFS in mind when they consider how RLUSD will be regulated. And again, you know, they are, you know, Ad Ariana Harris, who is the superintendent at the New York State Department of Financial Services is speaking. So are we going to hear something about that, that, you know, they do have that regulatory approval again, pure speculation but we'll see what happens so looking at the price right now you guys can see you know XR so before we get into the XRP price you can see Bitcoin dominance is picking up hence you are seeing some coins seeing a little bit of a retracement within their price you can see uh, Bitcoin on the other hand actually did uh, make its way up to $66,300 yesterday as I spoke to you guys about this before but you know you're seeing uh, Bitcoin seeing a little bit of a retracement within its price but nothing major um, what is major is that the dominance you know shot up to that 57.75 percent hence we are seeing some red across the board XRP on the other hand is climbing and it's climbing fast right now and of course a lot of people are going to come out and say well you know, this is nothing crazy you know XRP um, you know needs to get back into the 78.6 or you know start going to that dollar price point but we need to understand what's really happening but um, the, just look at the importance of that key resistance that I spoke to you guys about this resistance is everything that you need to know and the fact that you know we have been bouncing above here is good and of course uh, people are going to come out and say you know it's the overall market momentum which is true which is definitely true you know we're seeing a very bullish market momentum for the broader market but you could see this for yourself we are picking up traction right now we are re testing August 22nd wick um, you know all the way uh, up at that 62.6 cents but if that is able to clear up I think a July retest could be in play uh, if that is able to clear out guys I think excitement could be in play but remember October is still a very important month not just because of the event that's taking place for you know the BRICS summit as well as the um, you know ripple uh, you know swell event that's not the case you know we still have that october 7th date for sec to make an appeal and obviously that is a huge huge factor that we need to uh factor in right now so uh let me know down below what you guys are thinking right now what do you think about all of this uh, where do you see the price of xrp going do you think sec finally drops um, you know the case or do you think there will be an appeal which again will impact in my opinion the price of XRP but uh, let me know in the comments what you think love each and every one of you guys in terms of you know excitement for the price of XRP if it's able to enter the 78.6 I think this is where you know the fun really begins uh, but let me know down below what you guys think love each and every one of you guys we'll see you tomorrow in crypto ZX and peace out